minsan yung mga taong inexpect mo na makakaintindi sa iyo or yung akala mo na nagmamahal sa iyo, sila yung nakakasakit sa iyo pero hindi nila sinasadya. Meron ka pa bang hindi kinikwento sa akin? Walang mamamatay. Pag namatay ka, lagot ka sa akin. Hi everybody! It's Kate Alejandrino. Hi! I'm Gio Gahol. Hi! I'm Shin Lee and we're going to talk about Pula sa Langit here on Buttered Popcorn. Pula sa Langit is about a soldier's homecoming. So, Gio Gahol plays the soldier, Wesley Villanueva. It's about his homecoming and how people are happy about it kasi nga umuwi siyang buhay from the guerra. But meron siyang unseen post-war. It's something na he's dealing on his own inside. Kasi first time kong gumawa ng director statement na hindi ko arang papano. Eh, kailangan pang nag-pitch ka, diba? Sabi ko, Andrea, ano ba gusto mo sabihin? <laughs> um... Parang sabi niya, minsan yung mga taong inexpect mo na makakaintindi sa iyo or yung akala mo na nagmamahal sa iyo, sila yung nakakasakit sa iyo pero hindi nila sinasadya. Uh, which happened dun sa relationship story nitong si Ritz played by Kate at saka kay Gio. During my pitching, talagang nanginginig ako, tapos umiiyak ako, tapos hindi ko alam kung ano reaction nila kasi nanginginig ako, tapos sinasabi ko, yung pelikula po tungkol po siya sa ganito, <laughs> tapos literal na nanginginig yung bibig ko, nanginginig yung buong mukha ko, tapos nagbablackout talaga ako, yung hindi ko sila nakikita, nagpo-float ako. And to think na sinasabi nila, kinakabahan ka pa rin, oo, kasi this is first time. It's actually a test of faith for me, tsaka mas naging spiritual journey siya. And nandun yung happiness ko. It's with my relationship to the people who believed in me and who were willing to to take risks with me. <laughs> Nako, risky. Nakakatakot kasi nung nag-shoot kami, medyo maluwag na. Tapos, naka-isolate naman kami sa bundok, doon kami sa aming primary location. Pero, syempre, pag bumababa ka, andun pa rin yung risk na baka mamaya, kahit na somehow nakababol tayo at nag- nag-test sila before umakyat, hindi mo naman masasabi. Yung funding ko, kaakibat ng, kaakibat ng casting. So, nung wala na, tapos sabi ko, Lord, pahingi po ako ng sign. Pag nakuha ko po yung sign ko in 3 days, magpo-push po ako kahit wala akong something. Tapos, after ko mag-pray, tinawagan ko si Gio <laughs> kasi I got my sign. So, ayun. Tapos, um, si Kate din yata, nung nagdasal ako, sabi ko, I will honor the sign and the lack of it. So, kung may sign, magpo-push ako. Kung walang sign, hindi ako magpo-push. After ko mag-pray, tinawagan ko na. Kasi nag-ready ako eh. Pwedeng mag-push, pwedeng hindi. <laughs> So, nung tinawagan ko at nag-push, sila na agad. Diretso na. Kasi, ni-ready lang ako. Tinaiming lang ni Lord. <laughs> Malambing kami lahat. <laughs> Parang kind. Lahat ng tao. Nagbibigay ng food. Nag, alam mo yun? Yung stuff like that. And you could feel na andun naman yung care for each other. Na alam mo na everybody else is doing their job. It's a reminder to be mindful because what brings you happiness could open wounds sa ibang tao. Soldiering on doesn't really mean you have to move forward. Statement yan dito sa pelikula ko, minsan you have to step back. That's when you regain everything because that's when you see the actual picture or that's when you actually get to breathe, when you just step back or just stop. I play... Wesley Villanueva, he's a soldier. He was um, sent to war, specifically the Marawi siege, which started May of 2017. And then, yun nga, he finally returns home to Manila to be reunited with his girlfriend, C. Ritz, and with his family in Calamba, Laguna. I'm not a soldier, but, you know, pain is a universal thing. And 
it's the same like witnessing and experiencing pain firsthand is um, something a lot of us can easily relate to. I think it's very human to understand pain. You don't have to feel it yourself. I think it's inherent in humans to identify when someone is in pain. Maybe for some people, you can identify pain in large scale. Yung naririnig mo kasi, nakikita mo physically. But um, it takes a person who has gone through an immense amount of pain to understand the pain that is in silence. Sa Bola Sa Langit, I played the character of Ritz. Yung similarities na nakita ko sa akin at sa kay Ritz was how she deals with taking care of people she loves. Parang inuuna niya palagi yung iba, si Wesley, because nga she has insecurities. She's not proud of herself. She, mayroon ngang sequences na parang she hides her tattoos. She hides who she really is because nga hinahanap niya yung acceptance through the love of other people. And I feel like when I was younger, I sort of was like that. I'm obsessed with reading the script. Like, for me, my first job as an actor is really to learn the material. I needed to be mentally prepared na being in a place with the same people that I'm gonna be working with day in and day out for a given number of days. Sometimes it blurs the line between work and uh, professional and personal. So I needed to find that balance. During the online workshop, parang crash course, I was really trying to listen intently because I was like, okay, this is Mumshing's baby. I want to be able to give my 110%. Nagbabasa ako ng script every night bago kami mag-scene Gio. As in, hinahash out namin dahil yung units namin and kung ano yung thought process namin as characters because nakakahawa yung energy ni Mumshing. Actually, this whole production, you could feel the passion and the, the love for the material. <laughs> I want people to see na yon she's human na she doesn't just do things to be good it's more like yung may internal struggle rin siya to do I really mean what I'm saying or is it because I'm trying to save face you know you those little things I just felt so safe especially also with Gio he's such a generous actor I'm really so excited for people to watch him here because you can see yung passion niya and yung truth niya talaga sa mata niya lang kahit nakaupo lang siya nakakahawa it was a joy to watch him work I would love to play a woman in anything a woman ah, as in babae pero hindi naman i think Kate is perfect for it like i'm not gonna try to steal that from her <laughs> yeah i guess wala i wouldn't want to switch ako din eh, same actually i feel like everyone fit the role perfectly but after seeing and witnessing everybody play their roles there's no other way for me to see the character As I'm a dal dal person. Gripping? Alam ko ring word ka, flighting. Flighting. <laughs> Aja, flighting. Uh, kulimlim. You know, overcast in English. Ganda ng kulimlim do. Mm-hmm. Ganda ng kulimlim. Mas may character. Ako po si Shin Lee Hener at iniimbitahan ko po kayong manood at i-experience ang Bula sa Langit sa Cinemalaya on August 6 until August 14, 2022. See you! Don't forget to follow Sinit Panghalina on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And subscribe to their YouTube channel. Thanks, guys! Meron ka po pang hindi kinikwento sa akin. Mamatay. Pag namatay, kalagot ka sa akin.